Hello friends, this is Nageshwar. Welcome to my channel ITBot143. In this tutorial, I will show how to add roles for the printers and deploying printers using group policy in Windows Server 2008. With this, we can add a printer to any number of client system within our workstation. No need to install manually in each client system. Okay, let's start the process. Come to start and administrative tools and please open the server manager. Okay, just click on add roles. And next and please select print and document services. And click on next next and here it is showing the print server LPD server internet printing and distributed scan server so if you select print server this install the printer server role service and print management snap in and configures the server to be a print server and if you select the LPD server if you want to allow non-Windows based users to print to shared printers on the server. So for that, please check the LPD service. And if you want to select internet printing, this creates a website hosted by internet information services. And with that, users can access with a web browser. And if you select the distributor scan server, uh, this install the distributor scan server role service and scan management snap in and configures the server to be a scan server okay here i'm selecting print server just click on next and just click on install Okay, now uh, print and document services installation is succeeded. Just close this and just minimize this. Again, come to start administrative tools and here please come to the print management. Uh, print management will allow us to add printers and deploy printers to all the computers in the domain. Okay, here just uh, expand the print servers. Okay, and here it is showing our server. So just expand this and select printers. Okay, now it is uh, defaultly, uh, it will show the Microsoft document writer and we cannot find the other printers so to add the printer just right click on the blank place and please select add the printer okay and here you can find different options add a tcp ip or web services printer by the ip address or host name or a add a new printer using existing port and create a new port add a new printer so here uh, if you select this TCP IP and if any network printer connected by Ethernet cable by using this, uh, we can browse it. Okay, and just after that, just click on next. And here we need to enter the IP address. Okay, uh, let's come back. So here I want to select add a new printer using an existing port. And okay, uh, it will show the uh, parallel port printer. Okay, just click on next and please select install a new new driver okay just click on next okay uh, now it is showing the printers so i'm using canon printer so i'm selecting this and uh, please select your 
uh, printer version. Okay, my printer is LBP. Okay, uh, can I LBP 3360? I'm selecting this next. Uh, now it is showing the printer name and share name. And if you want, you can change the printer name. So I will keep this as uh, Office. Okay, and share name also I, am, I will give Office only. And after that, please select this, share this printer and just click on next uh, just click on next now it is installing the driver okay and now your printer has been installed successfully okay so just click on finish and you can check your printer by typing unc path in search box uh, Let's check it. Our server. Okay, you can find the printer. Okay, now. Uh, to provide manual installation on client system uh, using UNC path and we will deploy this printer so just for that just uh, click on deploy printers and here it is not showing any printer so for that uh, again come to printer just uh, right click on the printer and Uh, please select deploy with group policy Okay, and here browse for group policy uh, Just click on Browse and please select default domain policy. Okay, and this will apply to all the clients connected to our domain Okay, so please select that and Okay and Here please select uh, per user and permission So please select both and after that just uh, click on add uh, it will come to here and apply and just click on ok and ok now come to deploy printers and here you will get the printer ok and after this uh, just close this come to your client system and just run uh, GP update once okay and after that please come to start and devices printers and there you will find your printer from the server okay and if you didn't find uh, your printer just check for the uh, version either it is 32 bit or 64 bit okay and uh, both systems must have the same version okay and uh, if you are client system having the different version so then come to the server and just come to start administrative tools and print management okay and here come to the print servers and come to printers okay just right click and come to properties uh, come to sharing uh, they, there you will find the additional drivers so just install these drivers okay and okay cancel this again come to the client system and also you can find the 
by using given C path. Okay, just enter. Uh, now you will find the office printer. Okay, and like this, uh, we can create a uh, role for the printers and deploying printers for client system using the GP and group policy in uh, Windows Server 2008. And I hope this video will help you in creating roles for the printers and deploying printers using group policy. And if you like this video, please click on like button and please share this video with your friends. And please visit my channel ITBird143 to watch more latest uploaded videos. And please uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel ITBird143. And thank you friends. Have a nice day.